Well, political blame game is raging after an under construction bridge on River Ganga collapsed in Bihar's Bhagalpur district and the fall of the bridge being constructed at a cost of 1,700 crores was caught on camera, showing two parts of the bridge collapsing completely one after another and the entire structure submerged within just six seconds. हम लोग मौजूद हैं खगड़िया जिले के अगवानी घाट पर जहां मेरे पीछे आप देख सकते हैं सीएम नीतीश कुमार का ड्रीम प्रोजेक्ट अगवानी घाट सुल्तानगंज पुल जो है वो ताश की पत्तों की तरह कल शाम भर भरा कर गिर गया और अभी की तस्वीरें आप देख सकते हैं कि किस तरह का मटेरियल इसमें यूज हुआ होगा कि जो ब्रिज जो लाखों लोगों की आबादी को गंगा की एक छोर से दूसरी ओर तक छोड़ने की जिसकी जिम्मेदारी थी वो खुद धराशायी हो गया तस्वीर आप देख सकते हैं कि किस तरह से यह पुल जो है वो टूट टूट कर गिरा है लगभग सत्रह करोड़ की लागत से बनने जा रहा है यह तीन किलोमीटर लंबा पुल का लगभग 200 मीटर का हिस्सा जो है उससे अधिक का हिस्सा जो है वो टूट कर गिर गया है पीछे 25 किलोमीटर का अप्रोच रोड भी है और इस विध्वंस में किसी के मरने की जानकारी अभी तक तो नहीं प्राप्त हुई है मगर एक विभाष कुमार नाम के व्यक्ति जो हैं वो लापता हैं जिनको एसडीआरएफ लगातार ढूंढ रही है आप तस्वीरों में भी देख सकते हैं सुबह साढ़े बजे से एस की टीमें जो है वो लगातार खोजबीन में जुटी है खगड़िया के लोग बाबा भोले से दूर रह गए हैं क्योंकि नौ साल से बन रहा यह पुल एक बार फिर टूट गया है और सरकार कह रही है कि नए डिजाइन के साथ दोबारा से इसे बनाएंगे और क्वालिटी से कोई समझौता नहीं करेंगे well the bjp is now calling it proof of corruption and apathy demanding the resignation of chief minister nitish kumar and his deputy 1700 crore rupees of the janta's hard earned taxpayer money has also taken jal samadhi and we have seen the kind of low quality material that has been obviously used because of which this bridge has collapsed and therefore a free and fair independent perhaps a judicial probe is required into this entire matter to catch those who are the chores Mr. Nitish Kumar should owe up the responsibility for this. He is directly responsible. On the one hand, he is trying to become bridge of so-called opposition unity, but his own dream project of a bridge cannot survive because of the rampant corruption that is there in Bihar under the JDU RJD government. Pool dwast ho raha hai, aur Nitish Kumar ki sarkar must ho kar desh ghum rahi hai. Nitish Kumar ki sarkar puri tarah bhasta char mein lift hai. और नीतीश कुमार जी को थोड़ा सा भी नैतिकता बचा है तो तुरंत इस्तीफा करना चाहिए आज नीतीश कुमार जी के चलते पूरे बिहार के सड़कों का बुरा स्थिति है और सारे पुल ध्वस्त हो रहे हैं इसमें जिम्मेदार सिर्फ और सिर्फ नीतीश कुमार Let's go across to my colleague Akshay, who's joining us on the broadcast with the details from the spot. Akshay, काफी सारे सवाल उठ रहे हैं. BJP ने already corruption की बात की है. They've spoken about how 1,700 crores have been spent on this bridge by the Bihar government, and it has fallen like a pack of cards. Yeah, almost 70% of the budget has been uh, allocated to the company which is constructing this bridge. And you can see behind me the bridge which has collapsed and which proves that cheap materials were used in building this bridge because pillars have broken down and everything has gone into the Ganges because the quality of the build quality of this bridge was not up to mark and one Vibhash Kumar is also missing who was a security guard who was uh, on the 10th pillar, which you can see in the center of the frame, who was uh, standing on the 10th pillar with his bike, and he is missing from the time the bridge collapsed, and his family members are crying and weeping here and asking for help from the state government. On the other hand, the state government is uh, blaming others, is blaming the company, and is saying that the damage, the money loss which has occurred will be paid by the company when almost 70 percent, that is uh, almost 1200 crore rupees has been paid to the company. And 
90% of the work was complete. Then IIT Roorkee's report, which Jashvi Yadav mentioned yesterday, came which said that the design of the overbridge, the design of the bridge was wrong, due to which it was to be reconstructed again. And the designers of the bridge, who were from the US, were to come to Patna day after tomorrow. And just two days early, the bridge collapses. And you can see what is the scene here. People are crying here because of the loss and the uh, the people living in the nearby areas who were waiting to cross the Ganga and go to the Sultan Ganj temple and then to the Devgar temple, their wait has been of nine years and now it will go for even more. Yes. Okay, all right. So the search is on for the security guard uh, who is now said to be missing. The personnel are at the spot uh, conducting the search and rescue operations there. But, uh, you know, talking about the politics around it, uh, Akshay, you also mentioned that Tejasvi Yadav also hinted at a conspiracy. He claimed that the bridge could have been deliberately destroyed. That's a claim that has been made by it uh, at a time when politics is playing out with the BJP saying that this is a clear case of nothing but corruption. Yeah, you can say it's a clear case of corruption as the uh, officials related to this uh, uh, this project were earlier also uh, named in corruption cases. And when Tejashwi Yadav was the leader of opposition, he himself claimed that corruption is being done and due to which this bridge is being delayed and delayed because four times the completion time has been extended. And Tejashwi himself, when being the leader of opposition, blamed on corruption. And now when he is the deputy CM, he is throwing the coin on the other side. Okay, all right. Actually, I request you to stay on with us. Let's also talk about uh, the Nitish government's reaction after facing flag from the BJP. The government has ordered a probe into the matter and assured that no culprits will go unpunished. The deputy chief minister wasn't forthcoming with clear answers over accountability. Here's what he said. When the first time this happened, when we were in the middle of the country, the segment that was broken, उसको लेकर के हम सब लोग आशंका में थे, शक में थे, यानी पहले से ही हम लोगों को शंका थी कि इसमें डिजाइन में फॉल्ट है, उसलिए काफी स्ट्रक्चरल चीजें जो हैं तोड़े गए और हम लोगों का निर्णय था कि पूरी तरीके से तोड़ करके कि कोई रिस्क नहीं लेना है, इसलिए पूरी तरीके से तोड़वा करके पुनः सिरे से हम लोग जो जिला प्रशासन ने जो अत्यंत जानकारी दी है कि अभियंताओं की टीम को वहां भेजा गया है और बिहार राज्य पुल निर्माण निगम इसकी निर्माणाधीन एजेंसी है वह आखिर क्या कारण है पानी का बहाव अथवा और कोई तकनीकी पक्ष है जो इस संबंध में अध्यतन कार्रवाई की प्रक्रिया प्रारंभ हुई है जो भी फलाफल आएगा उसके संबंध में तत्संबंधी कार्रवाई सुनिश्चित देखो यह एक दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण घटना है हम लोग तो उम्मीद लगाए हुए थे कि इस साल नवंबर या दिसंबर में इसका हम लोग शुभारंभ करवाएंगे इसमें एक्सपर्ट से जांच होगी और पूर्ण जान पूर्ण जानकारी ली जाएगी और जो भी दोषी होंगे दंडित होंगे इसमें दोहराई नहीं जाएगी